Hi, welcome to World Art Day. I'm one of your hosts, Carlene Lavelle, and today we're going to be celebrating the creative works of artists, performers, and creatives all over Long Island. And we're fortunate. Today we have someone who was here last year to give us some more insight into her work in art. Please welcome Lisa Fazio. Thank you. Thank Hi, you for having Lisa. me. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. So last time you were here, we had a great time. You let me hold the paintbrush. <laughs> no, today I'm going to let you actually touch it on the canvas. She's going to let me touch it on the <laughs> canvas. Because you're ready. <laughs> but I mean, you do incredible works of art. So what have you been up to? Because I know you've done a m bunch of monumental things. Thank you. Um, I love to travel. So I've been traveling around to different parts of the country and mm -hmm. checking out other artists' work. And I take an uber delicious amount of photographs. So this way I can use them for references when I come back. And uh, New York is th still the best place. We have everything in bloom now in Central Park. Anybody who hasn't gotten out there, it is beautiful. You don't have to travel far to see the cherry blossoms. So look around. Everything is inspiring this time of the year. Okay. And so what are we going to do today? So I see today we're going to paint some flowers. All right. Let's do it. So um, just to give you a little background. So this is oil painting we're doing today. And I have a small sample of the kind of art that I do. Mm -hmm. um, different subjects such as florals because now it is spring. So we cannot wait to jump into color. Uh, here are some little... Um, houses and the Hamptons that when I drive by I take little pictures and then you have our, our very favorite Jones Beach you show that one all right Jones Beach yes uh, so if that's not inspiring <sighs> what is so today I'm going to show you um, what an artist carries that does oil painting they don't dress like this that's for sure <laughs> that's just because I want to look good next to you I want to look good next to my girlfriend here <laughs> so uh, oil painting is kind of messy but it is very forgiving. Unlike last year, we worked in watercolor, so you have to really um, honor the white of the paper. Okay. Today, you can stain the paper, or stain the canvas, rather. I have a, a museum board here. And then if you don't like it, tomorrow you can go over it, just swish it apart. So it's very forgiving. Okay. People like that. So oil painting has been around for many, many years. Uh, years ago, they used to crush with powder and make their own oils. In fact, when you travel around the world, you could purchase it that way. Um, it's, you don't have to do that. There's so many delicious colors that you have now that you can buy in a tube. You can mix it yourself. So this is just a, something that I picked up at uh, either Michael's or AC Moore. It's just a cover. Um, I put a piece of glass on here so I can mix easily. And um, this is, does not have my daily pills in it. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. This has little squirts of oil in here. Let's do it this way. Like just oh, oil painting. Right. So the reason why you do this is that instead of carrying the entire tube, which oh. is what this is what you would look like. Okay. So you so have tubes a tip of paint for us. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to carry this while you're out and about, you can put them in pill bottles. <laughs> yes, it's my little trick. Yep. Good repurposing. So you can you can put more than so that here you might have 14 colors. Okay. And the other trick is you take a little cotton ball and you okay. put a little uh, cove oil on here and that will keep everything a little bit damp for a couple of days. Okay. This, believe it or not, you put in a plastic bag and pop in the freezer and it will keep it. Some artists actually submerge it under water to keep the um, paint from drying. Because oil paint, it takes like a couple of days but it forms like a film over it. Mm -hmm. So these have been uh, poured yesterday so they're still very, very juicy now. Okay. So that's just a little tip for traveling. Um, the other thing I take with me is um, this tube. Looks pretty worn out. Mm -hmm. I got this one from the post office, but you can get them at Staples. And okay. this is what you carry your brushes in because you don't want them to be crushed. Ah. Um, the brushes are expensive. Um, the other thing you need to do is care for them gently is after you wash them after your day's event, you wash them with um, baby oil and you keep it in there, kind of like you do in your hair. <laughs> You baby, oil? Baby, baby oil? Baby oil, oil. brushes. No, first you wash for turp, and then you uh, leave them with baby oil on them overnight, and this way the brushes, the, 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 brushels, the brushes, the brush itself stays moist. Because look, otherwise it will be stiff. I have a question for you, and I'm not the art enthusiast that I may look like. <laughs> so, tip. So, last time you were here, you you did watercolor as for painting, mm -hmm. and so now we're doing oil. So, you wouldn't use these brushes for water painting, Correct. you don't mix your brushes. Right, right, because it's almost like oil and vinegar because okay. it, would be, it would be nasty because the oil residue would be on here. And besides, the length of the stem of the brush is a little bit different as well. Here it's a little bit further away because you have sort of using your whole arm and watercolor, you're a little closer. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit different. Um, 
also the, they're all, I like to use synthetic brushes. You can use um, real hair brushes, but I like the synthetic because they're, you know, they hold their shape better. And I think last year I said that too as well, I like the synthetic. I'm a flat brush painter. They come in different sizes, the brushes, and yeah, this is called flat brush. See the little sizes here? Just there, just there. So flat brushes, I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys can see that. <laughs> He's cleaning you I up just, already, look, girlfriend. I'm already getting dirty. <laughs> She's already starting. Oh, babe. So flat. Okay. She's starting. I with came me. ready. I think I might get real messy before I even get to look the, the board. But that's okay. Yep, it is. We can turn this up. You have wipes there. Perfect. Okay, well, you can, and then the other care, anything you can, well, you know, you can't show, but handy wipes. You have to always carry some type of wipes with you. Handy wipes. Yeah, because you're going to get it all over yourself. And the other little cool trick I can tell you is uh, Dawn, am I allowed to say it, dishwashing yeah. liquid. Because from, you know how the animals, they get the oil on their body yes. in the ocean? That's mm -hmm. what they use. So, hello, that comes out of our clothes and our right. hands. So that's what you can use to clean yourself up as well, okay. the Dawn. So that's sort of brushes, the paints, uh, there's different brands. So you have to pick which, what you fall in love with. And then your little um, bucket here to carry your turp. Lots and lots of paper towels. I like to have a little thick paper towel and then your source of inspiration. So I have taken photographs of uh, different sunflowers. I took a whole day of photographing because they fade pretty fast, the flowers. So wow. you can purchase them fresh. Did you set these pictures yourself? Yeah, in the sun, wait till the sun is setting. These pretty. are gorgeous. Just by themselves, they're pretty, right? But they're forms mm -hmm. of inspiration. So today's inspiration is really based upon this frame here. <laughs> Believe it or not. I bought oh. this frame, and it's kind of funky. And I was like, what is going to go in this thing? It looks like it has chicken pox. So I kind of figured out the color scheme of what would look good in here. The blue is not going to stay there. That's just a, a color that peeks through at the, at the end. Mm -hmm. So I liked this concept. If I show you this one, okay. you hold that. Hold that one. I like these colors in this frame. See it? Yes. So I'm going to create it to match that size. Okay. But I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I'm using this for inspiration. I'm using the photograph and those colors. So that's how I'm going to start. All right. So the next thing you do is you stay in the background. This is just acrylic paint. It's okay. kind of just so you don't really want to work on white. It's too stalking. Okay. And if a little bit of this blue shows in, it's kind of nice. I did a very loose sketch with the oil painting this morning. So watch if I made it. Oh, I don't like this. Oop. You just rub it out and it will come out. Okay. Because it's oil. And if this not, you is dip what it I in. need. <laughs> paint that erases. <laughs> We're going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the first thing you want to do is get the lay of the land here okay. and figure out what the shapes are. So I would like to get in again because I do like to work. This is sort of like what I did to you last year. I didn't really show you. I like to work from my imagination. Mm -hmm. The only thing I like to do is figure out, I'm, I'm squinting getting my wrinkles back again. <laughs> um, I want to make sure that I have some lights here. So I do like this kind of yellowy kind of orangey kind of color that comes in on these sunflowers. And I'm trying to figure out, uh, see how there's a little bit of yellow here mm -hmm. and the orange here? You can hold that. So what I'm trying to do is see how far up I want to come in this space here. Mm -hmm. And again, you can paint this and say, you know what, I'm, I love this color yellow. So now, I, because I have this paint on my brush, this color, where else is it in the painting? So I can put a little bit here. And is that something you want to do when you have like excess paint if you I mean oil oil painting that if you can use it in other aspects yes and yes and no because we're this is only our first layer so when I put the second layer on it's going to blend on the canvas and then this is a dirty brush okay. so the, in order to make clean colors um, remember like if you if you had painted in a dark let's say I had decided to paint green here and now I'm going to touch this it's going to get green yeah. so you have to keep wash you know washing in this case you're just wiping the wiping it off so what I'm going to do is dig in here for some paint and then I'm going to have you just just for fun okay because this is a lighter yellow so put maybe a lighter yellow here just so that you can feel what the consistency feels like don't get too nervous I'm a little nervous no pretend it's okay. like putting lipstick on oh well well <laughs> all righty so just right here uh-huh okay yeah I did it you I did, did it, it. It's, you know what it's like driving and you hit the curb and yeah. you <laughs> You want to know what the curb feels like. You just did it. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. I hit the curb. 
<laughs> if that's what you think, that's great. And okay. it felt smooth. It did feel smooth. Now, the thing I forgot to do was add a little bit of white in, so the blue is coming through on the bottom. So now it's a little brighter. Mm -hmm. See, so it's really about layering, and it's very relaxing, very zen-like uh, painting. Have, did you paint as a child at all, or? Stick figures. That's my safe space. You don't even doodle? Come on. I, I doodled. I doodled, you know, in class, but they're very boxy shapes. Like, I'm too afraid to go circular. I think I'm going to end up in some foreign space outside of the paper. Well, let me ask you this. When you go picking out a shirt and has a pattern, do you tend to pick something that's geometric shapes, or are they circular? That's a good question. I think they're uh, geometric. Okay, so then that's why you like stick figures. <laughs> because it's straight lines. There, in, in, in the world, there are shapes everywhere. And so first thing I teach is I make you a shape maker. And first you're looking around, so you have the edge of the, of, of the, of the TV mm -hmm. here. So there are really no, we're the only circular beings in this space. Right, curvatures mm, right hello, here. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's why you, our, our, your eye is drawn to us, because we, we're moving and mm -hmm. because we're a different shape than everything else around you. So in this, the same thing, you want to have a little bit of circular shapes and then you're having your angle line. So I was trying to uh, present this as possibly um, an, a window edge. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it really nice creative painting. The other thing about my work, it, this is really bright, and I love bright because we have just come out of winter, so mm -hmm. why not have some brightness? So basically, I tell people they paint according to the style of their life. So I'm very bold, and so my work is gonna be bold. If you're a little timid, your work is gonna be a little timid. And there's nothing wrong. We're not saying one is better than the other. So my light is coming from underneath. I think I'm going to I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along. I think I'm going to put a little bit of white here to indicate on this one it has white coming here. I just want to see where I am. I'm looking at this picture in the front. There's another one that's multicolored. You could grab that one. Oh. That was my other source of inspiration. I like that one a lot. And how long does it take for oil paintings to dry? Um, depending upon how thick, it could take about a week, wow. if not more. Yeah, and then you have to layer it with um, different glosses to, in order to bring the, the deliciousness of the color out. And what makes this one really nice is the different variations of brush strokes in here mm -hmm. and the colors. You want to kind of have what I call like a color change uh, every few inches so that the painting is just as interesting up here as it is down there. Mm. Isn't that sort of like when we go shopping and we put an outfit on, you want to have the whole ensemble look good? Yes. Otherwise, you're the girl who has the mirror, just half mirrors in the house because yes. you only like the top half. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to embrace the entire shape. Now I have another art question. <laughs> okay, so last year, so clearly I have been watching Lisa's videos several times from our last art day, trying <laughs> to get my stick figure game up. <laughs> and I remember doing our watercolors, one of the techniques you used, not during the show, but you mentioned was that every so often you'd have a blow dryer to dry out the paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, with oil paintings, are you able to do the same with heat, or that would be like dangerous? Um, you don't have to do that. With watercolor, the color changes when it dries. Mm -hmm. So when you're first painting, it's sort of like the rocks at the ocean. When you see them underneath the water, you're like, oh, they're so beautiful. But then when they dry out, it's another color. Yes. Same concept. So watercolor is the same thing. With oils, they tend to retain their color. They they can change a little bit as maybe their darkness will fade a little bit, and then you would put in the varnish, and it would be fine. But for the most part, it keeps its colors. I find that after I look at a painting the next day, it looks different to me because they call it it's painting itself. So either it improves mm. or you find something that you're like, eh, I need to change it. So for the most part, if I finish a painting on site, I like to give it a day rest so I can see if I want to change anything on it. But I've already, you know, painted on location and someone would say, I just want it exactly the way that is. Mm. Please don't, please don't change it. So I'm like, okay. So it's really personal preference, but you do not need it. To answer your question, you do not need a blow dryer okay. for this. No, and do not do that. Okay. That's for your hair, girlfriend. Just use that. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, what else can I tell you? So you can do a lot of sketching. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me get, let you do the middle. Everybody oh. always is dying to do the middle when they do the, uh, you know, it's like when you're doing someone's face, you're dying yes. to put the eyelashes in. I want to put the eyelashes in. <laughs> you don't have to do that. So let's give this a little, see how there's a little dark center? Each, yes. each um, sunflower has a different middle. Okay. 
if you didn't know that. Well, these two might, they, did you know there's a bunch of variety, variety of sunflowers out? Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. And besides, we're an artist, we can do whatever we want anyway. Exactly. All right, so you're just gonna put a couple of dabs in the middle here. All right, here we go, people. <sighs> This is like bullseye. Are you good at shooting too? <laughs> well, depends on, depends on my target. Depends on my target. That's How'd good. That's okay. good. I like it a lot. So now do this. Let's change it up. Okay. Now you want to always make it a little different than the family next to it. So maybe we're going to add. I added blue. We added blue. So just do a touch. Okay. Just a just touch. Just do here like a C shape. You don't want to be married. You don't want to oh, have two circles here. Now we're, we're moving into C's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You're just kind of making a highlight. Okay, that's okay. good. Now, I want you to try to make it in, in small strokes because now it looks like, because look, if, if I did this, yeah. yay. <laughs> we don't want to make a happy face. Okay. So, so just go like this, little, st look, short strokes. Okay. A dab. Like a dab. Now I just. A dab. A dab. <laughs> I just, so I just tainted it. I had to go back and retouch it again. All right, so just little touches. Okay. Same spot. So, because I don't want to see the brush stroke. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, look, it looks like the texture of the middle of a flower. Okay, wait. All right, you lost the C, but that's oh. okay. So, <laughs> Lisa, I know you're doing this with me, but you also do this in your workshops, right? Yes, I do, and I'm, I, I'm very comical there too. I'm sorry. I, yeah. It's okay. Because you know what? I just think that you need to relax, and people. Um, you need to have fun. I mean, it doesn't have, because you know why you're very critical of yourself, it's very easy to, to say, you know, blah, 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 and I said to people, look, you came out today, you put yourself together, yay, you did that. Like, have confidence that, y you know, you can do the next best thing. All right, that may not be perfect, then I'll try, what did I like? You did a good job on this, and then you just keep improving on that. Okay, so you have to just keep trying. What is the biggest obstacle in terms of the, when people come to your class for the first time or come to any art class for the first time, what's the biggest hurdle or obstacle they need to get through to really mm -hmm. enjoy this? They don't think they have all the tools. They think that they're not good enough. You have to think first grade. You have to think going in there and just having fun and not worrying about the end results. You know, I want to have a pretty picture. Does a little kindergarten people, person say that? No, give me the paint. I'm going to squish my fingers in it. Just have a whole bunch of fun. That's what you want to do. So you want to just have a lot. You just want to have a little bit of fun. So what I'm doing is lightening up. So you did the mm -hmm. C here. See, again, I'm squinting my eyes. You want Botox with me, girl? So squint, just squint your squint. eyes. Because you're looking at. <laughs> am I squinting enough? <laughs> you want to just have the values be a little <laughs> bit different. So let me throw in some little bit bolder paint here. So bigger brush bigger brush strokes, I should say, so that this way the viewer can see. We're gonna get out of our yellows. Okay. And let's get into the other shapes around here. So what would I do next? Um, I wanna put in some darks and I wanna put in some color in the background. So okay. let's have some fun. Uh, I'm gonna say this is the, that's dark there, that's greenish. I was gonna say this was window because I kinda like that on that other painting. Okay. So let's make the color of wood. You just so mix here we're gonna yellow and nah, I mix a lot of different things. Yeah, I'm gonna need a chart. Actually, some it. people take photographs of the palette when you're done because yeah. this looks just as pretty as the art. That's how you know if the art's gonna look good, I guess. All right, so this is the color of the wood. So okay. are you good at making straight lines? You said you were, did stick Ooh. figures. All right. Okay, if you did my cause. Okay, so here's the line. So I'm indicating that this is. I'll make another line here. This is the line of. So you're gonna make it thick. So let me show. Okay. Look at that picture. Go around, look at that. Okay. So that's what you're, you're in. So I'm making this line? Uh-huh, and the one on top. This one and that one. Oh, I put it, yeah, I put it over here on this okay. drawing. And then you can make this one going down too. Let's see so how just we go over it thick. So watch, you, de you decide whether you want to go with this direction or this direction. Oh. Oh, decisions. Oh. Decisions. Oh. How many decisions do you make when you're painting? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Here oh. I go, world. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of my? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Okay, do that one now. Okay, now do this one going down, but I would do it skinny. Okay. Yeah, can you? Now, did you see what, what we were talking about? That if you drag the green in, then the brush gets dirty. When you had asked me and I said, yes. oh, you have to. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm wiping the brush off. See that right there? That, that was me. That's my contribution. <laughs> so I'm going to paint around that. Yay, you did it.
Do you like my stick figures? Oh my god. Like, do you see the the intensity of the lines? Like, oh. see, this is interesting that you just said that's your line. Is that when I paint with a client or you know class, I don't like to touch their work because then this is what they do. They paint the whole painting and they go, I'll sit, they'll say, teacher, come help me fix this, and then I'll fix it, and they'll say, I did everything except this line, uh -huh. and then that's sad. So I try not to touch as a teacher. I try not to touch the work because then I want you to feel empowered. If it's not a perfect line, so what? Then it's not a perfect line. I mean, you know, your eyebrows don't match, your hair's not the same on either side. You have to get over that perfectness. I'm sorry, I'm just telling it like it is. It's just the way Speaking it is. Speaking the truth. Speaking, Speaking the, the truth. truth. Speaking the truth. This is how life is. All right, so let's put in some bright blue to say that this is the outside. I like this blue. Isn't it? It's sky it's blue. It's a sky blue. I did taint it a little, but that's okay. Could be a gray day. So that would be the shape here and here. So one of the things I noticed is that, I know we it's talked creamy. about- me. I love it, go ahead. Not tainting, right? So is that, you're not drawing entirely in there. How do you feel, do you feel it at the end or? Well, I'm gonna probably add another color on top, maybe when it's not as juicy. Okay. I'll let it dry a little bit. I love that you call it like juicy. I don't, everything is like referred to like for food for I me. Love I don't that. tell you, or juicy, your clothes or whatever. Hey. Yeah, I think that's too dark. So I'll just add some paint to it. I want it to have some variations in blue because if it's outside, it's not a perfectly blue day. All right, so that indicates, so for the line that you put in, mm -hmm. if you step back, it's very predominant. So we're gonna make it blend in by giving it a shadow. Okay. How do you give shadows? You're gonna just go like this, right over it. Just uh. gonna soften it a little bit. And I, I don't, you know, I'm not so bent on what's the color gonna be. See, look, it's blending. All the colors that are on my palette are all the colors that are in this painting. So it can't be wrong. Right. Because I'm already started with that. So that just toned it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Let's see, if I indicate this is the side of the, the table, uh -huh. something like this. All right, so let's get in. <laughs> it looks very abstract. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Let's get some fun in here. I'm gonna put in some, just a little hint of purple. I'm gonna oh, put a little hint of purple, purple in here, just so that it says pop in colors a little bit. It's very gonna be very simple. I get my yellow in there, the other secondary, uh, there's another flower, it's three. You know, when do you have pillows on your sofa? Yes, I do. Okay, mm -hmm. so people, you put pillows in threes because it's groupings. Yes. So you don't really wanna just have two flowers. I'm just gonna indicate ah. another possible flower here. I kinda like this orangey color. At least I'm having a wonderful time here. And I've, I feel like I've graduated since, you know, <laughs> I, since last year. Like now I'm actually painting with her. Like I'm leveling up. <laughs> now for anyone who wants to follow up and just kind of know what you're doing, you know, wh where would they go? Uh, I mean, I know on, we're not done yet, but. Uh-huh, on my website, lisafazioartist.com is mm -hmm. where you would go. I have all, um, if you, you can either email me and get on my newsletter. I'm in several local galleries. I'm always doing demonstrations uh, nationwide. So it changes and fluctuates. So if you get on the newsletter, you'll get to get all the information. It'll be great. Any upcoming dates locally? Like, uh, you threw me that this when I just came in this oh. morning. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, I'm doing a lot of outside workshops, okay. and I change them from month to month. So uh, I do a lot of uh, also spiritual workshops where we do oh, yes. meditation with art. Because um, you want to kind of relate, let's say, if you're really into flowers or nature, like we're, I would like to do one where we do a nature walk and then we're going to take photographs and use your iPhone and learn how to be more creative with your iPhone because people all have a phone, right? Yeah. So why not learn how to take the best picture ever yes. and then work a painting from that? So it's good. The other thing I wanted to mention mm -hmm. before I forget Please. is um, you need to have your handy sketchbook. I showed sketchbook. you this last year. Yes. So everything is in bloom this time of the year. Mm -hmm. So this one is at our local place, Clark Gardens, uh, mm -hmm. Old uh, Old Westbury. This is Old Westbury here. So I might go to on um, location to sketch, and then this is Old Westbury, and I'll paint that after. So this took a lot of time. It's a lot of colors and a lot so of small brushes. A lot I of soon. Are you look at that? You already like the artist. You know. <laughs> You know what to look for and appreciate. See that? Look at that. It's rubbing off all on you. All you, all you, leveling <laughs> me up. <laughs> and the other thing you could do is pick up some magazines and here we'll have uh, local artists' shows or workshop. You have the these different, look at the colors on this. Sometimes you just 
get these magazines because they're just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I keep them for forever, so these are probably even dated, but I just threw them out here. So if you love you love landscape, go grab landscape mm -hmm. ones. So landscaping, we have food. This would be mine right here. I know, you mentioned food. that last year. Food would be all of mine. And shoes, you mentioned. I was and shoes, you remember? Yes, you I remember do. Shoes. <laughs> but I came ready. I came in the, the PATV smock, so we brought the shoes down so I could be on the level. <laughs> but next time, I think next year, we do shoes if that's possible. Yes, I'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You can just model. <laughs> oh, well, I can do that too. So one more time uh, before we get out of here, give us your website again. It's Lisa Fazio Artist. Uh, dot com and I'm also on Facebook and Instagram follow me there because I'll do little short videos and demos on there as well okay and you can follow along what I'm doing because I also do volunteer work so it shows you what I'm getting involved with in the community a lot of fun stuff I hate that we're running out of time of having so much fun but before we go I have to do this for that person out there who's like you know what I want to do this what are the three tips or guides to get them started uh, number one is go to the art store and just touch all the supplies. See what really, yeah, just see what resonates with you. Uh, they have little pieces of paper. You can grab something and try it out. They also have demonstrations there. The art leagues also have sometimes free demonstrations. So see what it is that you like. YouTube, Google it. Um, so that would be viewing first. The next is to get your hands on it. Mm -hmm. Pick up a small sketchbook. sketchbook. Uh, I uh, here. We yeah, a little, put away. yeah, over here, a little sketch. But well, this is a I'll professional one. I do mm -hmm. this because it fits in my backpack and okay. it's about the right weight that I need. But they have all kinds of papers. And you can, the watercolor is nice because it doesn't cost a lot of money, it doesn't get on your clothes. But just get a small beginner set. Okay. And then go get inspired. I mean, this to me is the most inspiring time of the year. Go get inspired. And like I said, use your phone f for uh, inspiration. Use your sketchbook for inspiration. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for you. It's like singing in the car. No one has to hear you. It's just for you. <laughs> I think that's wonderful advice. Uh, well, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for asking me back. Yeah, and I think we're going to finish this painting while we're while you guys are catching up with other programming. So I'm going to turn it over to Lori and our team, and I'll see you right thank back you. here in a few. Thank you. Thank you.